What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Evo RTG. Today is a special day. Not to go all my HD gamer on you, but we're going to try, we're going to hopefully qualify for the weekend league today. I feel like my team's in a good enough spot, although we're going to miss the first game with Martin Erdegaard being on the bench. And of course, yesterday, somebody did say to me, rightfully so, that if I put Ter Stegen in goal, it will help with Rafinha's chemistry. It doesn't actually, but because I've got Pedri in for this game, it is going to help a little bit more. Now, before we get into our first games, guys, of course, thank you for being here. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you're enjoying the content. Let's get a shadow chemistry style on our Gabriel. There are a couple of cracking evolutions for Tommy Asu right now. I really need to patch some of these Arsenal players. Uh, and, and, and I'm just not. Uh, and then I also want to put, I think something like, I, I want Havertz to be like the big Donny. Do you know what I mean? I think like a finisher on him or, or, a, or a sniper. No, I think finisher. Give me some dribbling. Give me some shooting on Kai Havertz. Uh, for Pedri, we're not going to do anything uh, at the moment. And then for Beth Mead, obviously this is the new one. I need to get an engine chem style on her. I don't know if I have an engine. Vroom, vroom. Got a hawk. I've got lots of hawks. Oh, I've got four engine chem styles. Love to see that. Uh, and I think even though I haven't got any chemistry on him yet because I'm being very lazy. In fact, it doesn't make any, any difference. I won't do it on uh, Lionel Messi just yet. But we've got Erdegaard. Uh, we've got a nice bench. There's another nice... SBC for another player um, that I think would be quite interesting. So I actually need to put the. Oh, yeah, I needed the uh, League of Portugal for Olsenish, but I'm just going to leave it like this. There seems to be a bit of stigma around qualifiers, champs qualifiers. I, I'm probably going to be humbled here, but people seem to think that champs qualifiers is a really difficult setup now because you have to win three out of five. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Before you had to win six and th six, six wins, four losses, it's the same like win ratio. You know what I mean? It's a 60% win rate. Or sorry, you could get four, but six and four was easy. Do you know what I mean? Um, in, in this instance, there, there was previous years where we had... That's my... I'm happy with everything there. Uh, there was previous years where we had to win four games in a row in a tournament-style thing. You don't have to do that anymore. Now, I want him to be false nine, creative build-up. I know he doesn't have false nine plus plus, which is ludicrous, by the way. Uh, we're going to have Havertz as advanced forward. We're going to have Mikel Marino as box-to-box. -box. I want uh, might have Mikel Marino as like, defensive. What changes there? Oh, I'm doing it without, with ball, without ball. Um, deep line playmaker, no. Holding is kind of where I want Marino. I just want that opportunity to have someone there defensively. Uh, and then Rafinha, what have we got? We've got wide playmaker. What does he do? With an attack focus, a wide playmaker will move forward and receive passes out wide. I like that. Wide midfielder. When balanced, the wide midfielder will stay wide. When asked to defend, I don't care about. Oh, so it's just defend or... And then inside forward. Focus on cutting inside and making attacking runs. That's what I like. I want Rafinha to be my inside forward. It might make a bit more sense to have Havertz the other side and Messi in between them. Let's do that. And let's put Messi here on that false nine. And let's put Havertz here on that advanced forward. Because now it's like Messi and Rafinha are going to link together and it was going to go out to Havertz. At least that's the plan. Uh, Beth Mead we definitely want as an attacking winger. Oh, I want balance for Beth, Beth Mead because I, I want her to have the ability to stay back as well. Uh, we definitely want defense on Koreshma. And then for Oroshness, once again, we're going to put him to the, uh, the false back. I feel like I've got too many people standing on each other's toes here, but that might allow me some good passing opportunities with uh, Pedri, Rafinha, Oroshness and Messi. I'm probably going to have to favor playing down the left-hand side, but let's get into our first game, guys. Our first Champs Qualifiers game. Are we going to be able to... Qualify the first time out. It doesn't matter if you can't, guys. You get 17 attempts to qualify. That's a lot. But let's get into the gameplay here and see how we go. Now, guys, as we go into game one, it is fair to understand and appreciate that EA are going to be nerfing the L1 speed boost. 
I don't know how much. I don't know if there's going to be the situation where they completely kill it and we're not going to be able to use it anymore or if they're just going to nerf it and it's only going to be utilized for certain players. We're up against Swaz FC here. But in the meantime, whilst we do have it, we will use it. That's a nice team. That's a nice team. It's got some really nice players in there. That Turamo, I, I, I didn't like too much, but there is also something else that's uh, interesting about the game this year, guys. And uh, that is that and this might have been the case a lot anyway, but this here, even though I've done it to the wrong player, hip through balls are really, really strong this year. I don't know what on earth Gabriel was doing up there. But he's done well. <laughs> he, he has done well. Now the play goes for a throw -in. Let's get this ball. Like, this is where I need to, ha like I say, have that, that passing. Havertz. And there's Kai Havertz. King Kai missed the goal. Which is a bit surprising because he scored in real life today against Leicester. And he, he actually missed a couple of... Well, he missed one sitter. And then he had one of his chances very impressively saved from the goalkeeper. He like hit a half turn from like six yards out and the goalkeeper made a wonderful save. Well, I, I think what I want to kind of like explain to you guys as well with regards to qualifiers is it, like I know, I know it seems like it's going to be even sweatier in champs, right? Because it's in theory harder to qualify. How many times did you actually like play your qualifiers properly? How many? Because I don't think it was as many as like I, I didn't like quite often I'd get the four wins and then that would be me. I'd just back out of the game, the, like the following games and end it there. Right. I don't know if that's the same for you, but that's how it was for me. Why has Beth Mead stopped her run? Probably because I haven't got on her attack. Um, right now, like to get three wins from five games, if you was already qualifying, I think you're going to be just fine. Like I honestly think you're going to be just fine. Havertz, oh, almost. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't stress too, too much about it. Oh, we got big gabs here. Like in real life, baby. Oh, I've put too much sauce on it. Oh, David Rye, like in real life, baby. So, yeah, don't, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it, guys. To go on a one, like, if you was able to get wins in champs, if you were struggling to qualify for champs anyway, you're still going to struggle. Nothing's going to be different for you. But if you weren't struggling to qualify for champs, it's, it's not going to be this demon that people were seemingly making it out to be. I don't know why people are, like, making it appear like it's going to be the most troublesome thing on the history of Earth. It, it's going to be challenging. You're going to face good players for sure, and of course. But you need to get a one win-loss ratio. You can afford to lose two games out of five and still get qualified. Like, that really isn't that bad. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because I switched Messi and Havertz around to have Messi link up the play a bit more. And it feels like Havertz is linking up the play a bit more. And Messi's the one that seems to be in all that space. Oh, hit the shot soon and the Penthes. It's there, it's there. Looks like Havertz does not have very good passing whatsoever. And that would be a goal for him. He's got a rebound goal and it was a goal for him. That is very, very, very triggering. I'm going to have to change my uh, my team or my tactics up here, guys, because I'm not enjoying Messi in this role here. And I'm not getting Rafinha in the way I wanted him. I was just keeper save that. There we go. There we go. Back in it at 1-1. Nice and easy once I started paying, paying attention. Wolves have scored against Liverpool. I always do that, man. I always, like... Get that first opportunity to beat the man, beat the man, and then fail after that. I hate these situations, man. I hate this. How I can see quite a lot of my goals a good defend, good defending. They, you just get stuck on the ball defensively, and then it's one one interception or tackle, and that's it. I'm very disappointed to be two one down. I'm in complete control of this game. I'm gonna do something interesting here. I'm gonna. Switch around Messi and Havertz. I might even bring Havertz off, actually, because I'm not having much luck with him whatsoever. He feels just too heavy and too clunky. So let's do that. Let's get Havertz off. Let's bring Pajor on. She could be dangerous for me in that area. I'm also going to bring Garcia on for Mikel Marino. I really, really like Garcia's press proven. Fantastic looking ball. 
Hazo. Oh my days, how? I press pass. Messi, shoot. I press shoot. Game. Messi. My controller, genuinely, guys, might be broken. I've aimed that to the far post there. And he shot it near post. Beth Mead's not even going to get there. He's going to get there, though. I'm, oh, I can't believe I'm playing this bad. Ten minutes to go. I can't believe I'm playing this bad. Rafinha, that is the worst ball I've ever seen. Well, guys, we have lost our first qualifier. I can't believe I've lost it. I don't know how I didn't score right at the end there, but that was... That was a lot of attacks from me and not a lot of output. Look at where my shots are from. I, like, I, just, I should just be scoring goals. I should be scoring goals. I missed some sitters in that game. Look at those off-target shots, man, and where they're from. It's tough. I just got to be scoring those. I got to be scoring those. Let's get into game number two. All right, the good news, of course, is we can have Erdegaard back in the team now. Rafinha loses a bit of chemistry. Olsenis gains a bit of chemistry. Uh, Ter Stegen loses a bit of chemistry. What happens if we put Edison in? Rafinha goes down to one. Yeah, I think I'd prefer that. Um, I'm just going to swap Messi and Havertz around again. I just, I didn't, I didn't enjoy the way they played in that game. It felt like Messi was in the wrong, in Havertz role. The good news is, is we've in theory lost the game now, so it should be an easier game. I've, I should have won that game anyway, but it should be an easier game. That guy was all over the place at the start. Let's see what we're up against now for game number two, though, guys. And get back on this, uh, this winning track. And see what we are playing against. This guy's got Ariola, Pavard, Gvardiol. Wow, he's got Holland up front. Holy crap. Madison, Zaire Emery. It's a weird team, isn't it? It's a weird team. But let me I need I need to like be a bit bit less wasteful with the ball. He says as he gives it away. Do you know, like, not that I'm excusing it like for this. But I can't see a goddamn thing. Has to play. Has to play. Has to play. Come on, Kai. There we go. I probably should have just shot with Messi, but I felt like I lost the angle. I think this guy's like found, I like, figured something nice out here. Every time he like just wins possession, he just boots the ball, like pump, pump, pummels the ball up to his big men with that ping pass. Is it? Oh, delightful from Messi. Delightful from Messi. He's good at those. He is good at those. Trebion, Lionel Messi. We're going to bring Pajor back on again. He feels great. I also want to try somebody new out on that right-hand spot. I'm going to put Gould out there because I'm not enjoying Beth Mead whatsoever. And it's definitely me the way I'm playing. You know, I've got to just get better at, at figuring out how to utilize these players and their skill sets and their, their play styles and their uh, roles. And I'm just not doing a very good job of that. Okay, from Pajor. Has this guy got his like RB button jammed in or something? Literally every single pass is a driven pass. And the craziest thing is, is, is for the most part, it works. Like, he seems to get through and then hit these other, like, otherworldly passes. And if I don't read it perfectly, he's creating good chances. Sometimes even if I do read it perfectly, he's creating good chances. Well, be a free kick there. Don't worry about it. Azure. Oh, on the rebound. Diving header. Lionel Messi. He's offside. He's offside. <laughs> As if. As if. Turam. I might have to put Turam on my bench. Good save. Good save. I didn't move the keeper that time because I did move him the last time. I wasn't giving the guy the satisfaction twice in a row. Great bleed. Great bleed. Great D. Rafinha, come on. <sighs> well, we've got this win wrapped up, which is nice. A little harder than I'd have liked it to have been. I've really got to... Like, this guy's got two big men up top. And he's getting the ball in his midfield. I think he's put his pad down. And he's just slamming passes up to them. And it's really impactful. 
it's really impactful. I mean, listen, if this guy wants to pat down, we'll take an extra goal and an extra an extra bit of security there for sure. All right, that'd be basically game over here, guys. And that is game over. So back to one. Wait, it's not game over. And now it's game over. So back to 1-1. One, one. Uh, again, frustrated we lost that first game, but it's all part of the process, isn't it? The qualifiers are there. I need to make some tactical changes because that wasn't it. it the way these tactics are, they are just not it. Let me make some changes. First and foremost, we've got to get Olise, not Olise, we've got to get um, Rafinha into the game more. He's just not in the game at all. Um, right, let's uh, let's have a look. So, physical, no, attacking pass, attacking runs, support centrally. Yeah, I don't mind that. Actually, I want that for, I want that for, uh, I want Messi in the false nine. I just do. I know I do. I want Havertz as an advanced forward. I guess I want to put Rafinha as an attacking winger and utilise him down that left-hand side more. And I'm going to put Beth Mead as an attacking winger as well. I definitely don't want Erdegaard as a box-to-box. -box. I want him as a playmaker on the attack and I want Marino as a holding. That's more like it. That, that's, that should have a bit of a better spread in the midfield and, and it should have a little, little bit of like better... Better opportunities with these players. Let's get into the third game, guys. All right, this is what we're up against. Yeah, a bit of a standard squad. Looks like somebody has just got enough pop points, like you know, a team together, got enough points straight away, and then gone into qualifiers. Some nice players in there, but let's see if we can do a bit better this time around. Oh the god, can't get it. My spacing, it's all wrong. It's all bad. It's terrible. I actually can't believe he's managed to get a shot off. Oh, he like stumbled the ball on the inside, didn't he? Keeper. Guys, I'm holding triangle. I'm holding triangle the whole time. Okay, 2-0 down. Don't worry, I've got this one. Oh, pen ref, come on. Great card as well, get him off the field. Lovely bit of dribbling from me there. Was she inside the box? Yes, just about. All right. King Kai, baby. Don't let me down. He didn't let me down. 2-1. Back in the game. Come on. First goal for the club for Kai Havertz. We love it. Messi! Oh, Dave. Gabriel. Over the bar. Gabs, you've got to score that, mate. You've got to score that. Messi! Come on! Those finessies from Messi. That's the one. No. I just want to volley there. Maybe he doesn't have the ability to volley, but I don't think he has the pace to take it down either. Oh, come on, Marino. You've got to step into that pout. Guys, we can step into these passes. I'm literally moving you into the spaces for the pass. Missed it. I'm moving you into the spaces for the pass. Okay. Just a little sideways pass, EA. Why do we keep doing this? Is it offside? Oh, my days. I was about to flip my lid. Play another 10 or 15 with Hazards and, Hazards and then we bring on uh, Pajor afterwards. Power ref. Get up then, ref, you. If that's not a foul, mate, just get on your feet, pal. I just, oh, man. I'm struggling, guys, a, a little bit all of a sudden, man. I'm struggling. Let's get Havertz off for Pajor. Let's get Garcia on for Marino. Got to take Mead off again for Gould. I'm actually going to put Messi on this left-hand side as well. And Rafinha up front. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Oh, Havertz scores just as he gets subbed off. How about that? On our side. Got to get a bit better at that, guys. I've got to get a bit better at that. Just spotting where the run is and how long it takes to like, charge the pass. That's a lovely goal. That's a lovely goal. Much nicer. Come on. Just, just a little personnel change, man. A little personnel change. A little change in the way that uh, we're working with everybody. Having Messi on that left-hand side seems to be real nice. Having Gould on this right-hand side has already been super impactful. No, not again. I've conceded like it again, guys. I've conceded like it again. Oh, this game. 
I've defended that so well, man. The, the, the double press, the double team. I don't have anybody, like, in the box there. I want more people, like, running into the box. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I know it makes sense because it would not not make sense. I just want more people running. Oh, oh, no, I've driven. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. There we go. 88th minute, but we'll take it. Finally working the space a little bit better again. I'm having moments of getting getting good, good like, positioning from this team. Great win. Great win. All right, guys, we're 2-1. and one. That was a tough win. Should have been a lot easier. Just like the first game, you know, a bit, bit of a struggle, even though we went on to lose it. But we're 2-1. and one. Uh, We just need one more win to qualify for Weekend League. I've, like, again, so many chances, so many good chances from me. And I'm just butchering them. Look at that shot map from my... I mean, this guy's got a few as well, but... Save shots from there. Off-target shots, two from inside the six-yard box. It's diabolical. Well, five goals in the end, but... Got to be doing better with it. I've got to be doing better with it. All right, guys. We need to we need to change something here again. I don't want to tinker too, too much with everything every time because I want to make sure that I'm like... You go a bit higher on the... Uh, 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 let me do build-up style of balanced so I get a few more runners because my, my biggest problem at the moment is I'm not getting anybody running into the box maybe i should have marino as a box to box and get him up in there it might it, this that might that, that might be the only change that's needed it also might be a diabolical change if i end up being you know hit with loads of counters because marino's caught out of position but something's got to change here for me something's got to change we're going to see his team edison loan five at the, okay we've got a sweaty player Bet he's going to have two pace merchants up front. Yep, Nunez and Oshimen. Whenever you see five at the back, guys, this early in the game cycle, you just know that they're an absolute sweaty, sweaty player. Five at the back is so broken. Honestly, EA, you absolutely have to stop putting these massive, massive symbols above everyone's head, man. Bye. Bang. Go. Oh! Let's go, baby. Earned that defender so nicely. I'm not getting on very well with Messi, guys. I can't lie. I know I've scored a few goals with him. And I know he's only 88 rated or whatever. I just expected better, really. Good save from the keeper. Hi. Right. And goal. Let's go, baby. All I had to do there was just slow it the hell down a little bit. And we got the goal. Just a little bit of letting the play develop, man. I'm rushing because I'm so, like... I'm a little bit anxious. I can't lie, guys. I'm a little bit anxious to, to, to qualify, even though I know it was going to be a walk in the park because it's like it's just qualifiers at the end of the day. I was just a little bit anxious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good save. Beth Mead bangs it. Let's go, baby. Come on. Good bit of work there. Rushed from me again. Oh, he's pulled one back. He's pulled one back. He's hitting the celly as well. Fair enough, pal. Fair enough. There seems to be like a genuine, like, tactic. How has that gone in? There seems to be like a genuine tactic in just playing the ball. Like, as soon as you get possession, just pink passes straight down the middle. I don't know how the keeper hasn't saved that. That is a really poor shot. Turn around, have hers. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, now we celebrate, baby. Come on. Mikel Marino. Yeah, Havertz gets... He's, he's done all right this game, to be fair, guys, Havertz, but he's clunky and heavy, man. I need an Evo on him ASAP. Even then, just turning around was was a nightmare. Just to turn around. Turn around right now. But guys, one way or the other... This is going to be a win for us. And we are going to be qualified for Weekend League. So, we've gone three and one. It wasn't really difficult. I've made this way more challenging on myself than it should have been. I've just made this so much harder on myself by the way that I've played. However, another dominant performance in this game. The fact that I conceded two goals from four shots is poor. 
We've got one game left. We are guaranteed qualification, but let's see if we can get those four win rewards. All right, here we go, guys, with the last game. We are up against... What a stadium, by the way. We are up against Sanchez. 4-5-1. Saka Haaland. Gordon. He's got some nice players in this team. Some nice players. The pressure's off now, of course. We have qualified. I wouldn't mind going 4-1 and one rather than 3-2, and two, though. But, of course... Oh, hearing me. But, of course, we are still in the early access. Well, not really early access of the game anymore. But do you know what I mean? Like, not a lot of, like... Casuals will be qualifying for the weekend league just yet. That's a foul game. That's got to be a red card. Got to be a red card. Playing it. That's the play in it. That's the play in it. That's lovely. Lionel Messi makes it one. Marino. Where it was four in the first place. Keeper. Hey, I've, I've called the keeper there again straight away, guys. Maybe, maybe there's like a problem with it. I don't know. Nice. Come on, the boys. This guy's going to be gone, guys. So we got a 4-1, which is nice. I would prefer 5-0'd. You know, that first loss was a bit frustrating. The nerves were there, even though I knew it was going to be easy. Look how easy it was. The nerves were still there, man. We're still learning this game. I'm still learning the tactics. I can say with some confidence... I wasn't, I'm not overly impressed with my tactics. I need to change up. I need to change something. We get a jumbo premium gold pack and an 84 plus. Um, so nothing like otherworldly out of that. Do we complete any objectives to milestones? Anything fun though? That's the question. 500 goals. We don't care. Cosmetics. We don't really care either about that. So nothing too, uh, too intense there. Uh, we are at 330,000 coins right now, which is quite nice. I've got some other stuff to sell, uh, again, from another draft. Uh, I actually lost in the first round of the draft that time around, so not going to be uh, the most ideal situation for us there. But let's open these packs, and let's see what we get. An 84-plus rare gold player. Not a walkout. Doesn't need to be, to be something good. Diogo Jota. Okay. What is he like? He looks like he's around, like... 10k or something, I don't know. Let's just list him up. I don't. I have no use for him. We'll take the coins instead. And it's, it's not the best rewards for qualifiers, but a jumbo premium gold pack was that. We get another board. CDM. No Arsenal player again, guys. Starting to get a bit, uh, a bit tricky to pick up these Arsenal players. I can't lie. Um, let's get rid of all of this. Yeah, that's that's pretty brutal. I can't lie, but. That's where we're at. So we did manage to get qualified for the weekend league. I don't like. I, I am looking forward to the weekend league. I just want to make sure that I've got a tactic that makes sense. Once I can get Tommy Asu in at right back, Bukayo Saka in at right mid, Gabriel Jesus up front, and maybe Gabriel Martinelli with Rafinha as a super sub, I'll be I'll be so content with the team. The team is nice, though. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you who's really, really, really impressed me in this team. This man right here. His in-form was nice as well. He's just a big defender. He's just strong. He's fast. His passing's a bit meh, but he's very, very good. But for today, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.